Good afternoon class, this is Shay Klesman for MDF3. Week 2, this will be try number 5 million to outrun my heater fans or whatever the heck they are on my laptop. So hopefully you can hear me. Um, this week my project was to build a app that played music but used the proximity detection to pause the music when it got close, like to your ear when you flipped it over on a desktop or put it in your pocket. Um, and then would resume playing upon the proximity change again. Um, I also used the notification instead of a normal notification more as a haptic vibration touch response when you when you make it play or make it pause. Um, I wanted to put it in there to where the vibration notification would go off every 30 seconds if the phone was flipped upside down and it was still on pause but I ran into a problem with the whole wow loop thing it was stuck there for forever until it made it through the wow loop and threads yeah I don't know threads well enough and I messed up on that a million times spent the last three hours on it or so and I need more work um, but time's running out so I want to get this video done and then I'll get back to more coding um, so currently I'm covering all the items for this week but I want to make it better what do I feel I haven't learned in Java that I knew in Objective-C? I don't know the messenger well enough in the handlers. Um, in Objective-C I was able to pass stuff back and forth relatively easily. I'm not so good at that here yet. I need more practice. What would I have done differently if I could? I would have started my project out either as a service or as a little widget or as a list view. Um, I'm in the process of trying to change it up into a list so it pulls out all of the music on your phone but currently I ran into the problem that most music apparently is kept on your SD card and I didn't have one on my phone so I had to figure out how to put it in there and then trying to figure out how to get music onto your Android from a Mac. Yeah that was a whole lot of not fun but I did get it done um, so that's the other process I'm trying to work on to build a list view so you can use actual music from your phone and not just something that I have imported into the program itself list a few things that could have used more clarification I think so far for this week the topics that we covered were actually fairly clear the videos really helped out um, there are a couple errors in the videos but they are way closer than being stuck with or with nothing. Um, they were actually fairly easy um, bugs to fix and that had to do mostly with the fact that we had a different phone than the ones that the videos were made for. Alright, I know I'm running out of time but here's a little preview of my app. It's a simple little thing. Play button on top that changes to a pause when it's playing. Stop button to stop the service, the audio service when it's playing. Um, the notification is being used as a haptic feature to say when you push the button for play or for pause. But the main feature of this is when you get within proximity, so when you set it down on something or put it in your pocket, the music stops. I can and then restarts my bike with no when the proximity bars, comes back. No I was going to add and did have the notification in there that uh, flagged on top of the bar on top, but it came up too often and didn't work the way I wanted it to. It wasn't needed for this. When I do get a feature that will time the amount of time that I have it face down and on pause, I'd like to put the notification feature in there. It would make even more sense to have it flag and vibrate after 30 seconds or so saying, hey, don't forget me, I'm on pause face down or in your pocket or still running, but I'm waiting. Either way, I did accomplish what I wanted to do. I just want to make it better. So, Someday, I'll have list views, a widget, and access to all the music that is on my phone. And again, I know I'm running out of time, so if you'd like to, go ahead and pause the movie here at the probably a four minute mark, and you don't have to watch the rest. Or if you want to hear me rant and rave about all the cool things that happened this week, please continue. So now, I'm going to go into a little bit extra of what I want to do, or what problems I found out this week. I mentioned earlier that I don't know threads. I was no good at those. 
I really needed to be able to use it this week and I'm just running out of time. Um, I did find out something that was like a duh, but apparently it didn't hit me until now. A while loop pauses its progression until it meets the requirement for that loop. So it just sits there, pausing my app. So well, I was trying to use it for that timer and it really paused and messed up my app, so I just removed it. Um, there's lots of things I'd like to do to make my app better. I just am running out of time this week, and maybe I'll be able to do it next month with the extra time. Or next week when we get to make a widget. We'll see. Thanks for your time, thanks for your help, and I'll see you next week.